Indian fast food chains very often have a special vegetarian menu that's not available anywhere else in the world. But which fast food chain has the best items? Just recently I compared the paneer pizzas from Pizza Hut and Domino's here in India. I've linked both videos in the description below. In this video, I'm comparing vegetarian items from McDonald's and Burger King in India. Which one has the best flavor and value for the money? Let's find out! To see more of my videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. You can also find more of my videos on foreigner travel in India, linked below. Of course I had to go there. There was a challenge with some of my favorite foods waiting for me. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time. Burger King only had it once in India. Therefore, this challenge is long overdue. Today we are comparing McDonald's versus Burger King. It is not a completely equal comparison because I've had McDonald's in India a lot of times. Burger King only once. Therefore, I ordered more food at Burger King to be exact. I just ordered one veg Whopper extra. We're gonna save that one for the end. I ordered this at home. I would have also filmed in the restaurants, but then I don't get a side-by-side -side comparison. Without further ado, let's just eat. <laughs> Starting out with the fries. The look of both of the fries is absolutely perfect golden brown. I know how they achieve that. They have specific timers. They have specific times for the oil changing. This gets you a beautiful standardized golden fry. At both the fast food chains, I chose the smallest portion of the fries because let's be real, this is a lot of food for one person. When we look at the quantity of the fries, McDonald's definitely wins. This is a lot more fries than at Burger King, which barely fills the little bag. Then also the Burger King fries are more thick than the McDonald's ones. They've gotten a little bit cold and soggy while I was talking. Good fries, nothing to complain about. Now McDonald's, also a little bit cold and soggy. Good salt on both of them. Obviously, we also need to compare the ketchups. McDonald's has its own brand of ketchup, whereas Burger King has Viva Food Services tomato ketchup. I'm very fussy about my ketchup, I have to say. In the Netherlands, by the way, where I'm from, we have a special fry sauce, which is so good. I really miss that. Okay, ketchup. Very, very sweet. Also very, very sweet. <laughs> There's not really a difference there. Maybe the McDonald's one is a little bit spicier in terms of flavor, but both ketchups don't impress me much. Based on my extensive fries experience, I'm from the Netherlands where Dutch fries are actually famous. That's how much of a staple it is. The smaller fries, the French fries, are usually more crispy. Now, of course, they're a little bit cold and soggy, but I've had them before, which I prefer compared to the bigger fries, which are usually crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. I like my fries really, really crispy. McDonald's gets this point. Let's compare the veg burgers. In terms of size, McDonald's seems to have the bigger bun. Last year, I did a video with my brother when he visited India for the first time. It was on his bucket list to go to an Indian McDonald's and we tried everything. During that trying session, I discovered the McDonald's veg burger, the most plain burger, but also the tastiest one. I think I will really, really like the sauce. It reminds me of the old McChicken when I used to eat McChicken and I loved that sauce. It was so good. That's what she said, sorry. never tried the Burger King veg burger, I think. Let me start with the Burger King one. It's a white bun with sesame seeds on top. Burger King doesn't have the option to choose for a multi-grain bun, which I usually like because multi-grain buns have more flavor. Can I open this? What is inside? The bun is completely sticking to the patty. This is the patty. It is beautiful golden brown, absolutely fried to perfection. There are some gherkins on the inside and a white sauce. Any other vegetables? No, nothing. Just the gherkins. Let me try this. Mm. Wow, those gherkins, they really make a difference on a burger. Mm. This is really good. Go Burger King. The patty is perfectly crispy. I think they used aloo, so potato, and they used spices because this is a, a little bit of a spicy burger. Mm. 
The most dominant flavor here are the spices of the burger. I can't really taste the sauce. The gherkin was really good, but I would have loved to have a little bit more of that. Overall, a quite tasty burger. Now let's try the McDonald's one. Yeah, this burger is definitely bigger than the Burger King burger. Also, they have an option for the multigrain bun. There are white sesame seeds on top along with black sesame seeds, which I like because black sesame seeds usually have a little bit more flavor. The patty is also beautiful golden brown, looks super crispy. There's a white sauce and the only vegetables I got on my veg burger, plain iceberg lettuce. Not mad about that, but I would have liked some tomato and stuff. I think you can order that separately. Time to try it. Mm -hmm. For me personally, that multi-grain bun adds another layer of flavor, which I really, really like. The patty is nice and crispy, not too spicy. This one is a lot more spicier. And then the sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. The sauce is the game changer. This sauce used to be used in the Netherlands on the McChicken burger way back when I used to eat meat. I don't know why, but they changed that white sauce. I know that sounds disgusting. And it changed the whole flavor of the burger. Maybe that's why I became vegetarian. This is the same exact sauce. Bless you, McDonald's in India for using this sauce. The iceberg lettuce adds another layer of freshness, which makes this burger a lot more flavorful, in my opinion, than just a Burger King burger, which is all about spices. You sometimes get a kick of the gherkin, but the sauce doesn't have any flavor. The bun, yeah, you can debate about that, but I do like the multi-grain option. This really goes to McDonald's. Go McDonald's. <laughs> that sauce, oh. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing beats this McDonald's burger sauce. Moving on to the snacks that they both offer. Last year, I also tried the veg pizza McPuff with my brother. Not too impressed with it, but I wanted a side-to-side -side comparison with this one. The Cravers Veggie Fingers. You have to give it to both fast food chains. They really know how to fry their stuff perfectly golden brown. I'm going to start out with this. Mmm, mm, spicy. Oh yeah. Perfect hit the spot snack. I don't think it's the same mixture as the patty, but it is spicy, I have to say. There's peas in there, there's corn in there. Mmm, really tasty. Getting into the pizza McPuff. In terms of quantity, I don't know which one would satisfy my cravings more. This is a more smaller craving. This is a little bit bigger craving. Oh, well, this one is golden brown, but it is less perfect golden brown. I think it could have used a little bit more baking. Let's try this. Hmm. The dough is very thick. The pizza sauce definitely has the Italian spices. It's a pizza McPuff. What I don't like about this one is that the dough is very thick. The proportions between the sauce and the dough are off. The sauce is really good. This one is not Indianized, meaning it's not spicy at all, actually. <laughs> if I would have to choose which one I would want when I have a massive craving, this one. For sure. <laughs> Burger King gets that one, for sure. Finally, the massive, massive veg whopper. I could have also ordered the Mac Maharaja burger, but let's be real, this is a lot of food for one person already. I didn't want to waste more food. I also know that the first time when I tried the Mac Maharaja, I was really not impressed, but I did want to try the veg whopper. I really hope there is that classic Burger King char grilled flavor in there that would be amazing because that's something that i do miss being a vegetarian there are no real burgers which have that mm, that that smoky grilled flavor i really hope this whopper has it if that flavor is in here it would definitely draw me more to go to Burger King when I have a burger craving. Let's just go for it. There's a beautiful golden crisp patty. Oh, we have lettuce on this one, iceberg lettuce. We have onions, we have a gherkin. There's white sauce, but unfortunately that white sauce on this one didn't have that much flavor. I don't see any char grilled stains on there, so I'm not expecting that flavor to be there, but uh, somehow I'm hoping it deep inside. No, it is just a bigger version of this one with lettuce and more sauce and onions. It seems like it's the same patty as this one. Lots of spices. This is not it. 
The sauce is also very sweet now that I can taste it. Burger King. If I would have just switched from meat to vegetarian, this would not satisfy my burger craving at all. This one is still okay because the sauce is really good. Burger King, if you're listening, if you're watching, make a patty, a veg patty, which has that char grilled flavor or a hint of it, or make a sauce which has that char grilled barbecue flavor. That will give you the ultimate veggie burger and might even make me convert from McDonald's to Burger King. Even though the Mac Maharaja is not here, I would give it the point because this burger tastes even less tasty than the Mac Maharaja. I'm really sorry to say that because I had very high expectations of this burger. I really hope that char grilled flavor that's so characteristic for Burger King would be somehow in this veg burger. It is not, unfortunately. There you have it, the Indian McDonald's versus Burger King. McDonald's wins by far on flavor and on quantity, but not on snacks. So if you're in a snack kind of mood, I would definitely recommend you to go to Burger King and try these veggie sticks because they're really, really good. If you really like food videos and would like me to make more of them, make sure to put a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon to get the notifications whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. There are sesame seeds on top, not just white sesame seeds. Te Why do I keep saying sesame seeds? There are se <laughs> veg whopper, v veg whopper.